Hey guys, Chris here. In this video, we're gonna talk about the upcoming Polestar 3 that's going to be revealed in October of this year and come to market next year, and also the Polestar 4 that's going to be revealed next year and come to market in 2024. And guys, I wasn't thinking of making a video on the Polestar 3 this soon because I just made one last week when Polestar came out with the first official picture of that Polestar 3, but there are new photos leaked this week. So yeah, this is pretty exciting. So guys, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button for the Polestar and the Polestar 3 videos. And also, before we kick today's video off, I just want to give a huge thanks to today's video sponsor, Saptic, with their Saptic Go home charger. The Saptic Go is a cool, small, and stylish home charger that can charge up to 11 kilowatts and can be had in a whole bunch of different colors. If you're looking to buy a home charger, I would highly recommend you guys to go to the link in the description box down below. So find your country, click that link and purchase, well, one of those chargers. It is pretty cool. And if you live in Norway, you can use the discount code SAPREFA for 10% off your purchasing price. If you're not up to date on what the Polestar 3 is all about, I would highly recommend you guys to check out my two previous videos, watch those videos, you'll be updated in detail on what that car is all about. But the quick rundown is that the Polestar 3 is a large, fully electric SUV that's going to be a little bit smaller than the next generation Volvo XC90 or Volvo Embla, whatever they're going to call it. It's going to be built on that same platform as that car. But instead of having, you know, three rows and a boxy shape and up to seven seats, it's going to be more sporty, only a two row car. So maximum five seats and like a fastback shape. And it's going to be much more sporty and luxurious. Polestar has said that it's going to compete directly with the next generation Porsche Cayenne. So that gives you, you know, an idea of its size, its intentions, maybe its sporting dynamics, also interior quality and also price range. But no details have been revealed yet, but you can guesstimate that it's going to be, you know, closely priced to that car. So last week, Polestar dropped the first official photo in profile of the Polestar 3. And in that video I made last week, I was probably more excited about the details than the overall design because it wasn't too impressive. But I was also thinking that this was kind of like, you know, when Volvo revealed the current generation XC90 back in 2014 at the Frankfurt Auto Show in the fall. I remember seeing photos and videos of that car on my computer, I was like, meh, not too impressed, especially the interior. But, you know, fast forward to the summer of 2015, I saw one in person, you know, a black one inscription with the blonde leather interior on 21 inch wheels. And I was just blown away of how beautiful and luxurious and understated that design was. I fell in love and you guys know the rest of the story. In 2016, I took delivery of my first XC90 and then in 2018, my second XC90. And I've always been saying that if they made the current generation Volvo XC90 as an electric car, I would probably own one now, but they don't. We're gonna have to wait for the next generation. But this car, this photo, the Polestar 3, from this angle that was dropped yesterday, I'm gonna throw it up on the screen for you guys, gets me excited in a way that I should have gotten excited last week. This is the photo they should have shown us last week because this is pretty awesome. It looks so much better from this angle than from that, you know, that little bit top view profile they showed us last week because in this photo you can really see the design cues you can see that clean line also lots of those sharp shapes so let's start with just how low and wide it looks it looks awesome it looks low and wide but you can see it looking at the ground it still has some ground clearance so if this is what the production version is going to look like it looks like it may have like 25 centimeters of ground clearance. It has a lot of ground clearance. And look at those wheels, guys. These look like to be 22s or maybe even 23s. And looking at the rear tires versus the front tires, it has a staggered setup. You can even make out that this has Pirelli tires, uh, probably the Pirelli, uh, you know, performance tires, which are the same tires as I have on this car, my Porsche Taycan. And overall, you know, from this angle, it looks so much better. And look at that ground clearance. This looks like to be a proper SUV with proper ground clearance. But it also gets me excited because it's so low and so wide. So looking at those front, uh, you know, wing mirrors, as I said in the previous video, it's going to have, you know, the, the uh, patented uh, frameless wing mirrors as we'd find in other Polestars. And then looking around the, 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 uh, the doors or the windows, uh, a lot of people commented that this is not going to have frameless doors because that's what I said in the previous video. And after looking at this photo, I think you guys are right. It's not going to have frameless doors. It's going to have normal doors. But looking at the door handles, it looks like it's going to have the same style door handles as on my Porsche Taycan where they pop up from, from the top, you know, 
in an angle like this instead of the ones that just pop all the way out. In my experience, door handles that are like this on my Porsche Taycan just feel much more solid and quality than the ones that pop out. You know, Mercedes has them, even the new Range Rover has them, Teslas have them, and they don't feel particularly premium. They're okay, but what you find on this car is, is much, much nicer. And this is pretty cool also looking at, you know, the line of the, the roof line and the deep pillar, how that meets with that black trim all the way to the back glass. That is pretty cool. And we can also see, you know, that this has uh, a panoramic sunroof that goes all the way back to almost a deep pillar. And then you have the roof spoiler there. And then below that, it looks like to be a sizable rear uh, windscreen, which didn't look like that from profile. It looked that it was going to be quite small, but here it looks like it may be, you know, bigger than I thought, maybe a little bit bigger than I have here on my Taycan and rear visibility here is fine. It's not going to be like in a Volvo, but you know, you have to sacrifice something for that design. My favorite thing about this is maybe the rear uh, wheel arches, the shoulders of this car, how it cuts in, you know, from those shoulders and into that deep pillar and also the rare bar light design. I think that just looks awesome. That 3D effect looks really, really cool. And you know, in that uh, profile picture, it looked like the rear end was going to be just completely bland and lacking in personality. But I think this is really cool. You can see flanking on each side of the bumper, it looks like to be air skirts. So on, on uh, this car, we have air skirts from the front wheel arches and then uh, on, on the front of the side below the charging port, this probably has the same thing from the wheel artist and then to, you know, to uh, minimize that drag. And then you have the bumper, uh, the lower bumper blacked out with, you know, that uh, number plate. And from that profile picture, I thought, you know, the black cladding, it l didn't look too good. People were commenting, it might've looked like, you know, something like that, uh, um, electric uh, Toyota, but from this angle, it does not look anything close to an electric Toyota. So let me know guys in the comment section down below what you think about this design. It has me excited. I think it looks really cool. And I think in person, this is going to look awesome. It's going to be so wide and so low. And then we have the next picture, which is from the video. Let's see, we're gonna find this here. And that is, you know, without is, this probably is some kind of, you know, uh, design study from the factory where you can see a little bit of the interior. You can see that glass roof working its way all the way back to that deep pillar. And then you can see the dashboard. So you can't see too much. What you can see though, is that it has a, a, uh, a vertical screen, you know, a screen that is in uh, uh, portrait mode, uh, kind of like the Polestar 2. Uh, but it doesn't it protrude too much. And then it has some, you know, uh, um, uh, I don't know, some kind of cavity into the dashboard, similar to the design of this Porsche Taycan. Uh, and then you have some air vents all over there to the right side. And you can see that this has some seats, a, a gray interior, which is very nice uh, and, and welcoming. I hope it comes with, you know, a whole bunch of different color options, either, you know, either it's real leather or, or high quality, uh, artificial leather, uh, maybe vegan leather, uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You can see also the, the seat backs here. Uh, they are gray. You can see there's this one, um, you know, one piece design, kind of like here on the Taycan where you have, you know, the bolsters for the shoulders there. And then you have one section for the headrest, kind of looking similar. And also you can see that it has um, a, maybe you can't decipher if it's a panel, if it's a screen or if it's vents there on the, in the middle section for the rear seat passengers. But what you can see from the B pillar on the opposite side is that it has a yellow seat belt or a gold seat belt that we got confirmed from that first profile picture. So yeah, pretty excited guys. I'm so excited about this car, especially, you know, that first, uh, that second uh, picture here with that rare design. I think it looks awesome. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. In that same photo or video, we also got revealed, you know, a teaser of the Polestar 4, which is going to be the smaller SUV that sits below the Polestar 3. And I know, guys, it does make sense that the smaller car is going to be called the four, the bigger is going to be called the three. But this is what Polestar have presented in their investor presentation. This is what they have said themselves. So it is what it is. But it's pretty cool here. You can see that it looks like to be a smaller design, naturally. And it also has even a more fast back design and a lower roof line. But, you know, the most prominent thing here is what you can see. It, it, it looks like it has a different design of that light bar where, you know, the light bar goes across the top the same way, you know, it does on the Polestar uh, 5 also and at the Polestar uh, 3. But it looks similar to that Polestar 
five where you know the vertical lines don't go too much down but they cut down a little bit you can also see that it has it has a dark area on the lower part of the bumper where the license plate is probably going to go and you can see some black cladding you can't see too much so it's going to be interesting to see what this car is going to look like again this is going to compete with something like the porsche macan volvo xc60 it's going to be a smaller design than you know that um uh, Polestar 3 but it's not going to be as small as a Polestar 2 though so possibly they may be might be a even smaller SUV you know something like a Volvo XC40 Volvo C40 size yeah that's pretty exciting so guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below I'm pretty excited especially about the Polestar 3 I can't imagine that they're going to keep this car a secret until October maybe they're just going to reveal all the prices and the battery pack sizes I'm hoping for 110 kilowatt hour plus battery pack size in that Polestar 3 so that car can have closer to 500 kilometers of real world range in a large car like that so guys let me know what you think down below and I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content as always please subscribe see you guys again goodbye